Good evening, everybody. Buenas noches, chicos. Nice to see you. Sorry, but I started the, the reunion kind of early. Nice to see all of you or most of you in time. Thank you for being on time. Guys, uh, well, today is a new, a new week, right? Um, during the week, we will do a lot of activities. We're going to do a lot of uh, practices because uh, in this week, we have to see a new topic that is regarding past. So I think that it would be good. Um, also, I wanted to tell you that I haven't finished checking the homeworks yet. So it might take a couple of hours, okay? Because I have not been able to do it. Sorry, but I have a lot of things to do this week. So I will try to send the feedback to you as soon as possible, okay? All right, guys, perfect. Um, no voy a perder el tiempo, chicos. Vamos a comenzar directamente ya con lo de la clase. And guys, because we have started a new week, we have started a new unit or section. Is the section number four, and the name of this one is, 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 did you have? I don't know what happened, guys, sorry, perdón. Bien, chicos, como les estaba diciendo, um, en esta unidad, como pues todo es, es nuevo, nuevo vocabulario y demás, eh, vamos a comenzar. Y durante esta unidad vamos a ver relativamente todo lo que tenga que ver en pasado, ¿sí? Esta y la siguiente semana. Uh, vamos a ver lo que sería uh, algunas partes de vocab. Also, we'll have the simple past statements with regular verbs. Lo, algunas frases que son en pasado simple con verbos regulares. También, obviamente, vamos a ver pronunciation part. Vamos a empezar a memorizar los que son irregular verbs. Vamos a ver questions using yes, no, and some activities, right? So as I always do on my Mondays, I like starting with um with the vocabulary part. So that is what we will be doing. Okay, hoy no vemos gramática. Ustedes saben que hoy vemos vocabulario. Entonces vamos a comenzar, chicos, con este topic que es de Ocho cosas que las personas tienen que hacer. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ha hate to do. Eight things that people that most of the people hate to do, right? In their daily routine, I guess, or something. So, um, number one, please, Sally, read it to me. Number one, Sally. Okay, um, Hazel, number one, please. Stand in line. Thank you. Number two, Betsaida. Do laundry. Number three, Sandra. Travel to work. Thank you. Next one, Rosibel. Uh, good to good to meeting. Good. Um, number five, Freddie. Exercise. Thank you. Next one, Danny. Work in the yard. Thank you, David. The Moises seven. Clean the house. Thank you. And last one, Lupita. Open the mail. Thank you. Okay, guys. So these are top eight things people hate to do. So I want to know, which of these do you hate? ¿Cuáles de esas no les gustan hacer? Que las odian o les caen mal? Staying line. Stay in lines. ¿Quién más? Do laundry. Do laundry. What else? Clean the house. Clean the house. Okay. What else? Stand in the line. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see, guys. So, we mostly hate those things, right? In my point of view, I hate traveling to work. 
because you spend a lot of time. Porque ustedes, yo siento que al menos yo gasto demasiado tiempo moviéndome en el caso para la universidad. Right? That is something that I hate. And I think that I hate cleaning the house. Ew, I hate cleaning the house and I hate standing in line, right? But that re it's regarding each of you. Depende de cada uno de ustedes. Y tenemos la famosa frase, va? I hate to do this. I don't like to do this. Blah, 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 blah. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't I don't have to do clean. To do the clean. Okay, aquí está malo. I don't have to do the cleaning in my house. Okay? So, son algunas frases que podemos utilizar. Ahora, en este momento, quiero que me escriban en el chat de Zoom tres cosas que tienen que hacer, pero que las odien. In general. En el chat de Zoom, please, guys. Le voy a dar tres minutos. Tres cosas. Okay, David says it's an inline travel to work, work in the yard. Okay. Díganme los chicos de las cosas que en su día a día. Okay, no me hablen de estos ejemplos, de otras cosas, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, si alguien odia, yo no sé, cocinar, si alguien odia echar gasolina, whatever. Tres ejemplos de cosas que odiamos en nuestro día a día o cosas que tengamos que hacer y no nos gustan. Work, yeah, nobody likes to work, I guess. Creo que a nadie le gusta trabajar. Y eso lo escribo. Eh, yes, in Zoom, please, Majo. Welcome. Ah, en el chat. Sí, please. Vale. Tres, solo que odio, o tres y tres, una que no entiendo. No, tres, que odias, pensar, tres pero... cosas que tenés que hacer y que odias. Ah, ok, gracias. Welcome. I hate taking the bus to work, ¿ok? Para los que se acaban de conectar, chicos, eh, tienen que escribirme en el chat de Zoom tres cosas que tengan que hacer. You have to do, but you hate it, pero que la, las odian en su día a día.
Okay, Danny. I hate to do the dishes. I hate to cook. I hate traffic jam. Good. I have to do the full clothes. I hate it. I have to do wash. I have to. I have to wash shoes. Okay, I don't necessarily do Sandra. I hate it. I have to do the dishes. Okay. Mande. Yeah. Oh, I say planchar. Um, um, I don't remember. Hold on. The, the... Yeah, let me see. Me. Ironing. We can say ironing. Ironing. I R O N I N G. Okay, I hate to wait. I hate wash the socks. I hate waking up early. I hate to stand up so early. I hate work two times in the same thing. I hate to cook all day. I hate to, I hate to, in este caso, Patty, nunca se te olvide el to, okay? I hate to do exercise. I hate to do diet. I hate to work. I don't like washing the clothes. I don't like to cook. I don't like to eat myself. I hate my clean. I have to get out in the morning. I have to wake up early. Go to the supermarket and wash the dog. I have to try. I hate to travel to work and the university. Okay, guys, pretty good. So that is clear, right? So I want to know what is a thing that most people like to do, but you hate it. What is something that most people like to do, but you hate it? Que es algo que la mayoría de personas le gusta hacer, pero que ustedes lo odian. Uh -huh. puede decir una idea? How do you say caminar lento, teacher? <laughs> Walking is slow? Okay. Well, you hate that. I you hate, hate when people hate walk hate. slow. Yeah, me too. I hate it. Yo no sé por qué la gente asume que uno tiene tiempo como ellos. Okay, good. ¿Qué más? Algo, algo que ustedes crean. Que todo el mundo le gusta, pero a ustedes no. O hacer. Exercise. Exercise? Good, yeah. Some people love it, right? I, I do love it, actually. I love waking up and doing exercise at 5, 4 a.m. and doing those things. I love it. Pero yo sé que hay personas que no les gusta ni la caminadora. Yes, right? Good. ¿Qué, qué, qué otra cosa? A ver, los escucho. Y lo que I dijo hate... la compañera de la... Ajá. Lo que dijo la compañera de caminar lento, creo que es más bien por paciencia. Uh -huh. yes. Porque yo, yo soy de esos que voy en, en cualquier parte, yo camino, voy caminando despacio. Y muchas veces lo que ella dice es cierto, la gente se le queda viendo raro a uno porque... Quizás ellos van deprisa y uno bien el sabe, por decirlo así. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That is true. Okay, guys. Perfect. So, we are going to do an activity later on. Uh, we also do it in the end of it. Y voy a revisar las sentences, okay? Bien. Voy a pasar al siguiente punto porque, como les dije al principio, para los que no estaban, hoy es puro día de vocabulario. So, hoy es speaking. Which is it? Okay. Guys, when you have to do things, I don't know why they're talking about summer here. No sé qué relación tiene con summer, pero vamos a trabajar con summer. Activities. Activities que se hacen en summer, right? En verano. So, vamos a hacer la primera activity. Tenemos acá hiking y swimming y tenemos un par de verbos. Y acá tenemos un par de acciones. For example, a class, fun, hiking, a movie, new people, old friends. Uh, ver, play, swimming, tennis, volleyball, right? So, vamos a hacer esta activity, guys. Vamos a marcar acá, estas palabritas las tenemos que llenar acá, ¿ok? Les voy a dar cinco minutos. For example, go hiking, go swimming. Have, have, ¿qué podemos decir respecto a esto? Y colocamos las dos palabras, ¿Sí? Eso sí lo van a mandar la captura al grupo de WhatsApp. Le voy a dar cinco minutos para que veamos la activity, please. ¿Estamos claros? 
Yes? Yes. Okay. Good. Keep quiet. Empezamos a trabajar entonces. Five minutes, guys. No comprendí bien. Vamos a hacer esta activity. Vamos a llenar con estas palabras estas oraciones, por decirlo así. For example, go hiking, go swimming. Ya utilizaste hiking y swimming. Para have, ¿qué puedes decir de have aquí? Y lo colocas acá las dos palabras. ¿Sí? Ok. Good, guys. Empezamos a trabajar, pues. Recuerden, chicos, esas respuestas van en el chat de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Uh, la activity, vamos a llenar este cuadrito con estas respuestas. For example, go hiking, go swimming. Have, ¿qué podemos colocar en have? Y colocamos este cuadro, screenshot el cuadro, y en el grupo de WhatsApp.
Tienen hasta las 8.25, chicos, para la activity. Lean bien y analícenlo bien, porque hay algunas cosas que eh, tienen que ver bien el contexto, ¿ok? Okay, guys, I think that most of you already finished. So I will move on with the next, next activity, okay? Um, so here you have, yo no sé por qué, para mí también, eso me está tan raro. Okay, so uh, what are some things that you can have? Oh, yo no puedo ver, para mí también. Lo voy a quitar así, chicos. Okay, you can have fun, you can have a picnic, okay? No podemos tener fotos, tal cual, porque acá pictures no significa fotografía en sí, ¿ok? So, si ustedes quieren decir have, no podríamos decir have pictures en este contexto, porque estamos en summer activities, por eso les dije. You can have a picnic or you can have fun. Ustedes pueden tener diversión, right? Meet, you can meet, for example, new people, meet old friends, Um, yeah, they, that you can play also, for example, tennis, volleyball. Those are sports that you can play. You can see new people. You can see a movie. You can see old friends. You can see a class too. You can take a class. You can take pictures. You can, yeah, that's all you can take, okay? Entonces, en estos casos, chicos, depende mucho de el contexto en el cual estemos trabajando. But those are the summer activities that you have. Ok, algunas actividades que se hacen en el verano. Obviamente estamos hablando de un verano gringo, ¿verdad? Y todo. Pero ahora yo les voy a dar una activity. Les voy a dar un lugar. Y ustedes me van a decir qué actividades harían en ese lugar. Ok, creative ones. No lo van a hacer en grupo, solo van a hacer solos. ¿Sí? So, um, si repito el lugar, me dicen, ¿ok? O si alguien más ya lo tiene, porque tengo la lista, pero no sé si lo voy a repetir, ¿ok? So, just give me one second. Oh, 
Okay, so, Betsaida va a tener el Santiago Bernabéu. Sandra is going to have Dubai. Sela will have Tomorrowland. Majo will have Sugar Sugar Crush Land. I think that is the name. Es el lugar donde vive la niña de Ralph el demoledor, la Vanellope Bunchwood. Okay? Good. Jocelyn va a tener el mundo de Mario Bros. Okay? Freddy. Hold on, guys. Okay. Freddy is going to have um, the Camp No. Okay? Carla will have El Tunco Beach. Hazel, Disneyland. Brenda, Universal Studios. Wendy, Candyland. Un mundo de caramelo, literally. Rosie Bell is going to have a... Uh... Oh, se me dio el nombre, permito. A cemetery, un cementerio. No, eh, Mayeli va a tener Transylvania, eh, Transylvania, el del hotel, ¿ok? Quiero ver quién me falta, ok, si sí, me faltan bastantes, ok, good, I have them. Danny is going to, to have New York. Kilma is going to have, hold on, uh, Paris. Lupita va a tener el mundo de Dragon Ball Z. David Moisés, ¿estás ahí o puedes participar? Present. Ok, good. So, David is going to have um, Angry Birds. Angry Birds, el mundo de Angry Birds. Good. Jocelyn is going to have a uh, Tangle, que es el de, la, el de Rapunzel, el mundo de Rapunzel. Ok. Mauricio is going to have China. Ok. Roberto is going to have Barbie Land, el mundo de Barbie. Eric. Va a tener el mundo de Ken. Eric Ronaldo. El Ken Lean, el mundo de Ken. Jenny Catalina va a tener Italy, Italia. Eric Ariel va a tener eh, donde se desarrolla Mamma Mía. Ok. I think that is Greece, actually. El nombre, el lugar es Greece. Jenny, dime. ¿Me puede repetir eh, lo que me tocó a mí? Italy, Italia. Oh, okay. ok. ¿Alguien de los que no Jenny, tiene cámara que pueda participar, que me pueda indicar, por favor, para darle un lugar? Teacher. Tell me. ¿Qué lugar me dio? Eric no Ariel, bien. a ti te había dejado... ¿El mundo de, ma de mamá mía te había dado a ti? Oh. Yes. Ok, guys, good. So, ¿alguien más que pueda uh, participar de los que no tienen cámara? O ya mencioné a todos. Oli dijo que vamos a hacer oración de esto. Ahorita, ahorita le doy la info. Yes. Ah, ok. Yes. ¿Qué van a hacer, chicos? Me van a decir en una presentation, párrafo, como me lo quieran presentar, qué actividades harían en ese lugar. Okay, si ustedes estuvieran ahí o vivieran ahí, ¿qué cosas podrían hacer? Lo pueden presentar como un párrafo, me lo pueden presentar como oraciones, 
me lo pueden presentar como literalmente ponerme una presentation, whatever you want. Lo único que de actividades, como mínimo, tienen que hacerme 15 actividades. Como mínimo. ¿Se comprende? Yes. Good. La presentan como ustedes quieran. Son lugares creative, so let's get ready. Van a tener 15 minutos para la activity.
Si alguien ya terminó, chicos, me levante la mano, ¿ok? ¿Ya terminamos, chicos? ¿No? Ok.
Eso, ¿ya terminaste? Ok, good. We are going to wait for them. Ok, chicos, les voy a dar dos minutos más, ¿sí? Para los que les falten. Hazel, you're going to start. Y la manera que vamos a usar, chicos, ella pasa, ella presenta lo suyo y ella elige otra persona y así vamos a ir, ¿ok? Empiezo, dijo entonces, ¿verdad? Hold on, hold on, dos minutos más. Que termine. Okay. Ok, guys, time, ok, ya, suficiente tiempo, please, chicos, regresemos, everybody. Hazel, let's start, please, and later choose a person, ok, so let's start. At Disneyland, you can buy sugar cotton and other things like Mickey Mouse and mini cups. You meet new people, meet characters of fairy tales, take a lot of pictures and videos. You can play all the mechanic games, have a lot of fun, eat any new food, go anywhere interesting, go when bike riding, you can see any movie, wear different clothes, buy other things interesting, See a games, mechanicals, take a walk in all the attractions. 
and Betsaida. Thank you, Hazel. Good job. Betsaida, let's go. Okay. In Santiago Bernabeu, we can celebrate a birthday, eat delicious banderillas, have a party with friends, visit Real Madrid Museum, have a guia tour, shoot a goal, have a career with a friend, get on a tourist bus, come how many states there are from, goal to goal, play soccer all day, train for play, play high and sit, exercise on Saturday, meeting new people and raise alien volumes. Good job, Besaida. Pretty good. I like that one. The last one. I really like it, actually. Good. <laughs> so, Besaida, just a person, please. Majo. <laughs> Majo. Qué emoción. <laughs> que ella se rió porque él estaba diciendo de acá que no. <laughs> so, solicitada, Majo. Muy solicitada. No. <laughs> bueno. I alive in Shower Rush World. Go to race. I will eat candies. I will play with my friends. Will visit uh, arcade games. I will demolish things with my friend Ralph. I will go to Felix anniversary party. I will serve the world internet. I will play with my with the sugar people. And I will touch goes with Batman. I I am will do five more fun things. Okay, good, Maho. Pretty good job. Okay, Maho, choose a person, please. Uh, Bebsaida, no, no, mentira, Mauricio. Mauricio, let's go. Okay, teacher. And China, and the activities that I wore like to the in China were be to visit its museum since they have a lot of story of people who sometimes fight in martial art and another play. Will be to visit their shopping center since there is a bit of everything there apart from the default, uh, which is very different. And to all going for a while to the square where many people are uh, gathered and looking for a place to have. Fun at the wash, wrestling, enjoy his natural life, cat pets, and read the mountains, world revered in very full, and his dances that are done to the reading of the oriental music. Thank you, Ditch. Good job, Mauricio. Okay, pretty good. Thank you. Mauricio, choose a person, please. And, and Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Jocelyn, let's go, please. No sé si está ahí. Escucha, escucha, teacher. Yes. Okay. In the world, the Mario Bros. I want to do play with Yoshi, sing with Bowser, meet the princess, drive car on Luigi, use powers. Use sweets, meet the castle, play with Mario, play tennis, see Koopa, take a star, take a power, see a fight, and flat play with Mario. Good job. Okay, play with Mario. Okay, play. Good job, Jocelyn. Okay, next one. Just a person, please. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra, let's go. 
do I is a city with more artificial attractions. You can enjoy its natural landscape. You can go on a safari in the Emirate Desert. Practice sunboarding in the sun. Dubai has the only winter temed park in the middle of the desert where you can practice many sports. You can sky, jump in the into the snow, visit a penguin reserve, take a dog ride on traditional Arab boats. You can visit the skyscrapers and see the light shows. You can meet the culture and idioms that this city. Okay, Sandra, good, good pronunciation, Sandra. I like that you're getting better. Pretty good, thank you. Sandra, pick another person. Selene. Selene, let's go. Hi, me. Uh, tomorrow round, I went to job under the smoking speeding dragon, a sleeping dream ball. I went to eat a uh, kings of food. I could get a uh, memory tattoo. I would bring earplugs. I went to see the view from the top of the motherland. I want to take many pictures and videos. And finally, see the fireworks and the end of events. Good job, Sela. Good job. Pick another person, please. Aunque ya no te chiquillos que no me están haciendo quince, me están haciendo menos, ¿verdad? Pero es que ya me di cuenta. <laughs> Sela, pick a person, please. Carla. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, in the Tunco Beach, I I take a sun bath at time. I sleep on the sand. I take a break. I eat seafood uh, like a fish, shrimp, octopus, etc. I visit the restaurant in the area with my friends. Uh, I walk on the shore of the beach. Uh, I surf in the sea. In the sea. I see the sunset and I uh, take uh, beautiful pictures. And uh, at night I came dancing with my family or my friends. And finally I came camp at the night and uh, I came buy souvenirs for uh, my friends. Good job, Carla. Amazing, I like it. I like the way about souvenirs, right? Because you can do that in most of the, of the places. Good job. Yes. Next one, Carla, please. Uh, teacher. Mm -mm -mm. Estela Guadalupe. Lupita, where are you? Lupita, Lupita. Oh, there you go. Let's go, Lupita. The travel for you come to a sport, play a soccer, eat with family, flute, and throw the air, entrenar with friends, clean the house, listen to news, dance with friends, do exercise, cook shopping, they cook, they watch the clothes, they defense class, meet new people, dry or not. That's it? No sé cómo se dice nave. A nave. Ah, a nave. Okay, that's it, Lupita? Good. Okay, guys, pretty okay. good job. Bien. Chicos, los voy a detener ahí por el tiempo. Quiero que por favor en el grupo me manden la captura de lo que hicieron ahorita en clase, please, porque sé que bastante no pasaron y se están muriendo por pasar. So, please send me the, the screenshots because I want to make sure that you work, ¿ok? Y para el día de mañana no van a llevar tareas. De hecho, esta semana, honestamente, no creo dejarles tareas porque no voy a tener tiempo. But, uh, yes, only in the group. 
Lo siento, no voy a tener tiempo, chicos, estoy en parciales. So, eh, en el grupo mándenme la foto con su nombre completo de lo que hicieron, ¿sí? Y el lugar. Porfa, pónganme tal lugar, la descripción y su nombre, please, porque no me lo vayan a poner así porque no me voy a acordar qué lugar es el. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Pretty good job, guys. Ok, um, igualmente comentarles que eh, sí, no llevan tarea, estamos bien. Mañana vemos la gramática, así que mañana tratan de conectarse a tiempo, porque mañana sí le puede dar bastante grama, y mañana es puro exercise, ¿ok? Guys, si todo está bien, that has been all. I hope you have a very nice evening. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, cuídense. Feliz noche. Bye-bye.